Welcome to Never Enough Japan. Today I'm going to talk about Fushimi Inari Shrine, one of the most popular tourist attractions in Kyoto. If you have been there or are planning to go, please let me know in the comments. In this video, I'm going to share five things that I wish I'd known before visiting Fushimi Inari Shrine. Before diving into the main part, let me quickly explain what Fushimi Inari Shrine is. Fushimi Inari Shrine is an important Shinto shrine in southern Kyoto. It's famous for its thousands of red tori gates that create long and beautiful trails. Foxes are believed to be Inari's messengers, which is why you can see many fox statues throughout the shrine grounds. All right. So I'm going to share 5 things I wish I had known before visiting Fishing in Ari Shrine. The first thing is there are literally endless gates. I think most the tourists get super excited and stop to take pictures as soon as they see the first group of red gates, as you can see right now. Needless to say, I was one of them. However, there are actually endless gates from the beginning to the end of the walking path. You don't need to wait in line and take pictures with all the random people behind you. You can just walk a bit farther and then you'll have plenty of opportunities to take beautiful pictures without people. The second thing I wish I'd known is that this is a mountain. I was expecting to see some red gates and a shrine, that's it. But it's actually a mountain called Inari Mountain. So you have to keep walking and climbing. Of course you can turn back after seeing some gates, but if you want to complete the mountain hike and see as many gates as possible, you definitely need comfortable shoes and clothes. The third thing I wish I'd known is that mosquitoes come to attack you in the summer. I got like 10 mosquito bites during this hike and it was super annoying. So you should prepare yourself avoid exposing your skin too much and use some insect repellent. The fourth thing I wish I'd known is that the summit is the most disappointing part. You might expect an open space and a spectacular view from the summit, but this is what you see at the summit. So don't walk for the reward at the summit, but enjoy nature and walking itself. The last thing I wish I'd known is how this place is during the evening. After or near sunset, it was pretty dark and spooky and I felt like wild animals were making sounds. If you like a spooky and mysterious vibe, a night walk would be nice. But I personally felt like a bit unsafe and it was too dark. It seems like you need about 2-3 to three hours to complete the trail. So in case you want to avoid a night walk, start climbing early in the afternoon. So those were the 5 things I wish I'd known before visiting Fushimi Inari Shrine. Despite some unexpected things, I really enjoyed exploring Fushimi Inari Shrine. It was definitely picture worthy and I highly recommend visiting it. I hope this video was helpful for you if you're planning to go there and something relatable to you if you've already been there. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.